Hello, Stampers. Thank you so much for attending my new catalog open house last week. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Now, I realized that we were a little bit rushed with my, a few of my groups. So here is um, <clears throat> a few helpful hints on how to put those cards together that you stamped last week. Okay, the first card that I'm showing is this one right here, the sunflower one in the jar. And to put this one together, it's fairly easy. Here are the pieces that you'll have. <clears throat> you should have already put this part together. We uh, have the uh, inside message, the happy birthday, and of course you stamped and hopefully got that colored in time. And then on the outside, we just have our misty moonlight uh, card base. And then on that, we put that embossed piece of the bumblebee cardstock. And of course I had made you a nice frame using the uh, stitched rectangles. So anyways, that all just gets put on your card flat. And then you should have a nice circle with your words already printed on it. I did pop that up. So I put some stuff on the back and then I just kind of centered that from top to bottom and a little bit more towards the right here. I won't take the time to put that down right now, but just like so. And then on your little bottle that you made or your little um, ball jar here that you made, we of course have the little layer underneath with the stems all colored. And then I just attached the top of the jar with a couple of little glue dots to the um, cardstock jar, the little window sheet jar here. And on the back, I just put a one a little dimensional down in the corner and then I just put some tape up here. And then I would just set that down here in the corner like so. And then I took the flowers that we had already colored and stamped and colored. And I just put some actual, just some tape on the back or so any kind of adhesive that you like, because it's gonna already be popped up because it's on the circle. And I would just make this so that it would cover the top of the jar. And of course, make sure my words are still there. And then I would just take a little glue dot and take your little bow. The bow that you have might be a little bit larger. You just make it smaller. And then I just glue dotted that to the jar like so. And then you should have three gems, three blue ones. These actually aren't, didn't originally um, start out as blue. These are actually just the rhinestones that I colored with the Misty Moonlight Dark uh, Blend Marker. And then you would just set those on the card similar to what I have here. So that's a pretty simple card. And of course, here's the envelope because you don't want a plain envelope to go with your beautiful creation. Okay, so that's that one. So I'll set this one to the side and get the next one. <clears throat> okay, the next one was one of my favorite cards, birds. I love birds. And then your pieces for that. Of course, you have your envelope already nicely decorated. And a few more pieces for this. Here's the card base, um, soft sea foam on the inside. Maybe you stamped happy birthday, but I put a little branch down in the corner so that it would uh, be decorated on the inside. So that's set to go. And to make this one, here we have another embossing folder uh, piece or layer, some dust on there. And all I would do is just center this from uh, left to right and top to bottom. Tape that down or adhere that down. Same with this piece of textured uh, pretty peacock paper. Again, center left to right. It goes from edge to edge. You put that down. And then this piece <clears throat> you should already have done. We stamp a branch behind it there. And I'm just going to center that also. And this is all flat. Okay. Or actually, yeah, it's all flat. I was thinking I popped this up. Huh, I did. So this layer I actually popped up. So let's see, let's just put some things on here quickly for that. I'm using the edges of my dimensionals because I don't want to waste them. They're just as fun as the, the middle pieces. Okay, so that's better. So this will get popped up like so. And then I'll take my nest that you should have already stamped and uh, 
big shot out. I'm just gonna tape that or adhere that down. Then I'm gonna tuck my little birdie. Leave his tail kind of sticking out a little bit, like so. And then I'll throw on these. I can use glue dots to do these. Throw on these little flowers. And then you can either pop up the little tag that says time to celebrate, or I just uh, just adhered it down to the nest, like so. And voila, you have a beautiful card ready to go. That one was a little tricky stamping that branch, but I think most of you were able to get that figured out. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm talking kind of quietly. My family's still asleep around here, so didn't want to wake them up and make them wonder what I was doing. <laughs> okay, next we have My Thoughts Are With You. We have the little um, prize peony, or peony, depending on what you like to say, card. And for this one, we start out with the card base of the gray granite, and then we have a piece of um, petal pink cardstock, and then, of course, a piece of the designer series paper that goes with the the peony card with the peony uh, stamp set. So I've already heard those down flat. And for the next one, we have a little piece, or we have a nice little square do doily. And then with that, we have a piece of the shimmer white cardstock where I stamp my thoughts are with you. And then we put that on a layer, an emboss layer of gray granite. And I put that on there first, and then I taped it or adhered it to the doily, kind of staying towards the bottom more so I had more of the doily showing. Once I had that piece together, then I put the dimensionals on the back to help raise it up a little bit. And the first thing I would do is I would kind of put this on here like so, up towards the top. And I would adhere that down, but I won't do that right now because I'll probably get it crooked when I'm not looking at it straight on. And for this piece, you had um, two pieces. You had the petal pink embossed piece, and then, of course, you had this nice scalloped edge piece. And I just put some tape on the back of the embossed piece and set the uh, scalloped edge along there. So that was together. Then I took the ribbon and wrapped it right along the edge where the two met. And of course, it here the ribbon on the back. And then I used some pop dots, trying to stay away from the middle up here on the top, because that's where that tag or that uh, word, the words will go. And so then I just went ahead and set that down like so. Or you can kind of fiddle with the spacing you ended up with, depending on how you stamped it. And then I took my peony or peony and then decided where he should go. And again, it depends on how you set your card up. Put them on there like so. And then of course we took our little, little gems, our elegant faceted gems, chose three of them, and then set them on the card. And I just put two little ones down here and the big one up here. And of course you're, um, you were able to put them anywhere you'd like. And of course we have the nice little envelope all ready to go. And I guess I didn't show the inside of this one. And the inside of this one was the large white one. And it's kind of funny why I use such a large white one. On my card, I had like a little mark on my um, inside piece of my granite. And I'd already done the entire card before I looked on the inside. I'm like, oh, I need to cover it up. So I had to use that extra large uh, inside layer. So. Hopefully those little helpful hints will help you out. And uh, thanks again for attending my new catalog open house. I'll let you know what's happening in July as soon as I figure out what's happening in July. Take care. Have a great week. Bye.